Dear viewers, in this video, we will understand about the Japanese concept of waste elimination. In Japanese language, muda, which means waste, a non-valued activity. So as per lean management system, there are eight types of waste, which is referred as Tim Woods. We are going to see each of that in this series of videos. To start with, we are going to understand about wait time. In the video that you see below, uh, the before process, there is a cycle time mismatch between processor A and processor B because of which there is too much of idle time for processor B. Whereas if you see the after video, you will see that some of the work content of processor A has been reallocated to processor B because of which there is a line balancing that has been brought in place. And because of this line balancing, there is uh, not too much of idle time for processor B and hence the line seems to be very much balanced and wait time also got eliminated. Thank you. Hello everyone. In this series of MUDA waste elimination videos that we are seeing, in this video we will understand about defect or rework. In the below video, you will see that operator A is assembling a ballpoint pen and operator B is inspecting whether it is in the proper color. The cap and the uh, ink of the pen should match. If it matches, he is segregating in a box called good items. Not matching, he is segregating in a box called rework or defect. And now you see there is a defect, a black color pen is writing in blue color. Now how is this getting resolved? If you see in the after video, you will see the operator is using one of the visual management techniques, the 5S principles of giving a sorting that is sort and set in order so there are blue and black color cups in which the refill gets sorted and based on which the defect is being eliminated hope this video is helpful thank you can you make blue and black ballpoint pen for us sure me two black and blue pens Dear viewers, in the above process you would have seen how the operations team has produced more finished goods than the customer demand and that has led to overproduction. production. Whereas in the below process we will see how the customer demand is assessed and based on that the production was planned which helped them to eliminate overproduction. production. Let's see that. Can you make blue and black pens for us? Sure. How many? Two each. Sure, we'll do it. Here are, here are your two black and blue color pens. Thank you. Dear viewers, in this video of MUDA waste elimination series, we will understand about inventory. So what is inventory? Unutilized raw material or excessive WAP items between processing steps is called inventory. In the below video, you will understand that the cycle time for processor A is relatively less and the cycle time for processor B is more and that leads to high inventory, high WAP items between these two process steps. Whereas in the after video, you will see there is a line balancing. The cycle time of both the processes are pretty much same because of which there is one piece flow and there is no inventory between two process steps. So this is a good example to understand how inventory get created and how can we control inventory in our value chain. Thank you. Dear viewers, in this series of MUDA waste elimination videos, in this video, we will understand about over processor. If you see in the below process, the operator in grey color t-shirt is assembling the pin and the inspector is doing an inspection in the blue color shirt. If you see the operator is assembling the pin, he is doing an inspection, then he is completing the pin with a top cap and then handing it over to the inspector and the inspector removes the top cap and then performs the inspection. Whereas in the after video if you see the operator is only completing the pin, not putting the top cap and handing it over to the inspector. An inspector is inspecting and then putting the top cap. And if you compare the before and after process, we are eliminating three steps but still achieving the same result. Where you add more process steps to deliver the same result, that is what we call it as over processing. So this is a good example to remove over processing from your process. Thank you. Can you please make two blue color and two black color ballpoint pens for us? Okay, sure. Here is your payment for the ballpoint pens you will need. 
please scan the QR code for payment. In the two scenarios that you have seen above, in one of the scenarios, the vendor need to collect the check and go to the bank and deposit it, which involves a lot of transportation effort. Whereas in the second scenario, the payment was collected through a digital mode using a mobile application. So this is an example of eliminating transportation from the process. Hope this video was useful. Dear viewers, in this series of MUDA waste elimination videos, in this video we are going to understand about motion waste. What is motion waste? In any process step, if we have activities which make the operator feel fatigue, like walking, bending, stretching, these are activities which we call as motion. In the below video, you will understand that in the first exercise, the operator is completing assembly of pin, then as a batch of seven pins, he is taking it and giving it to the inspe inspection team and that involves walking. And the second step, there is a change in the layout still the as operator need to uh, bend or stretch or turn his body to hand over the unit to the inspector whereas in the third process the layout is designed in such a way that all the motion activities have been eliminated and the process is motion free hope this video was helpful thank you dear viewers in this series of muda waste elimination videos now we will understand about human intellect waste or skill waste in these two videos, you will see my team member Muruganandam is capable of troubleshooting issues in desktop computer and fixing hardware related issues. However, the same resource is being used to, to assemble ballpoint pen. This is what we call it as human intellect waste or skill waste. When we assign a resource to do a particular activity, there need to be a match between the job requirement and the skill set. When there is a gap between the job requirement and skill set, both the job will suffer as well as the skill will suffer. So this is what we call it as human intellect waste. The right skill set need to be deployed on the right kind of job. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.